finally, answers will come in a timely manner. Reverend Reuben White, Dr. Senior, M.E.D., has the answers. Evolution of the African American male. Uh, Ms. Miller, your question was, how did we get what now? Mills. I'm sorry. Mills. I'm sorry. How do we get? Well, I've often asked, but I've only heard one minister uh -huh. um, actually address it, and he didn't yeah. go in depth. But my question has always been about why we were even slaves. Okay. And usually disobedience, usually, I and I think it's a curse. Okay. The slavery. Hold that thought right there. When we get into dialogue, we're going to come back at it. I think you're going to get the answer, though, before we get to the dialogue. All right. Okay. So, uh, 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 sorry. Let me go back one here. All right. What we want to do is, or our four things, uh, as learning objectives, we want to receive historical background behind the mindset of African-American males since 1620 to present. We want to hear about social factors that put African-American males at risk to failure in society. We want to look at, or you will be introduced to, an instructional model for African-American males. And lastly, want to introduce you to BFC Missions Incorporated's Urban Community Support Consortium model. On the radio, many wanted to know what's different, Doctor, about what you're talking about. Because we've been hitting this thing, some of us, for years, and we still haven't got what? Any answer, any solution. The answer is each and every last one of us in this room that God has given breath in our body. That's the answer. The question is, how do we come together as one? Booker T. Washington said that we can be as separate as the fingers on the hand, but as united as one fits. That's what it's all about, right? So that's what we want to talk to you about. We want to look at this cyc cyclical uh, forming of the social identities particularly in terms of why are we allowing others or calling ourselves African Americans today in 2011. All right? You've seen some of these pictures before, haven't you? You've seen the images of the slave during the slave trade. You've seen the images of someone who was mulatto or mixed in hue. You've seen the images of the Black Panther Party, right? Of the Afrocentric love and unity, right? Kwanzaa, right? But this last fellow, who is that? Who is this guy right here, man? Do anybody know who he is? Does he know who he is himself? But he calls himself an African American. Negro American identity cycle. And I say cycle because we're talking about a period of years where this was the common identification of a subgroup of people in America. 1620 to 1712. Negro, a person of dark hue. And 1515, Bishop Bartholomew was a, uh, a, a, a Catholic bishop, and he gave permission to the Spaniards and the Portuguese to deport the first human being from the continent of Africa on the West Coast to Spain and Portugal. All right? Their intent was to use them as indentured servants. Okay? So they had an opportunity to uh, work for a while and gain their freedom. But some folk over in the colonial America saw that and saw that model and said, hmm, we got us an economic plan. And I wonder if we jumped into the slave trade. Okay? And we brought us some slaves over here. But we're not trying to promise them no what? Freedom. We're going to introduce them to society of colonial America under the guise of a what? Subhuman. We already got some Europeans over here we tried to make slaves who were rejects from England. We tried to make the Native American slaves, but they knew the land too well. 
Okay? And we even tried ourselves to cultivate the land, but what we really need are some strong backs. So let's go and participate in the slave trade, but we're going to dehumanize them and make them property. We'll identify them as a subgroup with the term Negro, as the Spaniards did. Okay? This classification of a subgroup in colonial America, because it had organized itself as a nation. It stripped the universal rights of independence from the slaves. It wasn't so much a personal thing, it was an economic thing. So, you ask, how did they get this way anyway? How were the Europeans able to come over into the continent of Africa and befriend these people and convince them to what? Become bait for them. Well, if you ask me, out of disobedience, those people, those indigenous people in the continent of Africa were not obedient to the will of the Creator. Right? And as a consequence, they not only killed and enslaved one another, but they opened the door for other folk to come in and do the same thing. So rather than point the finger at the white man, we really need to ask ourselves, what did I do to get in this predicament? Amen. And what can I do to back out? Okay? The focus shouldn't be anger toward the system or the white man. It should be anger toward yourself in terms of not resolving your own issues and freeing yourself. Amen. Whom the Son has set free is free indeed. All right? Um, I, I hope I'm not seeing hands. I'm going to give you, we're going to have some dialogue. This is about to get heavy, though. But just stay with me. Now you'll notice in the black down here, this identification or classification was external in nature. And it was the external basis for later exclusion from the American Declaration of Independence. See, America hadn't formed as an independent nation yet. But they already cast the die to exclude people of Afro descent. You understand what I'm saying? All right, we don't, we don't worry about it. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Colored American identity cycle. 1712 to about 1900. Colored, a person of Afro descent mixed with European blood. How did that happen? Well, it was a practice that a fellow by the name of William Lynch. Some, some, some say it's fiction and it's a fairy tale. But at the University of Virginia, there is a document that is said to be the original Lynch letter, written in 1712. And he was paid to come to the new colonial America and teach slave masters how to keep from having to cut their slaves' feet off or yes. running. Whipping their backs and beating them and destroying good economics and to control their minds. One of the things Lynch said you have to do is you've got to split them up. You've got to cause them to fight against one another. Because divided, y'all ain't going to pray. Together we'll stand, but I ain't going to preach. I can't preach right now. But divided, you'll always fall. So as long as black folk are saying you you a light skin, I'm a dark skin, and you in between, if you're black, get back. If you're brown, stick around. If you're yellow, come on, somebody. <laughs> Look, okay, all right, we can't go there. We can't go there today. But it was intended to keep this friction going. And that's one of the reasons we don't have enough time to resolve our problem because we're preoccupied with silly, senseless things. Ranging from what you believe about God to what color you look like. And you ain't going nowhere. And when you look up, time is gone. And your babies are getting bigger and they still ain't learned nothing. Then you're in a hurry to try to get it to them. I know you're right. Amen. <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to be nice here. Wake up, call, bro. But I'm answering a question that y'all don't have enough time to answer for. That's all right. That's all I'm doing. And you wonder how that baby got from his mama's loving hand at birth innocent until a mass murder, a minister society? 
Amen. Well, while you were busy preoccupied right. with foolishness, right. the enemy yes. put some stuff in his head. Yes. Mm. Wow. And now he's so big that his urine used to be all case spelling. Can I talk real? Yeah, this straight talk game. <laughs> it's state now. <laughs> Y'all excuse me. I, I, I grew up in the housing projects of Chicago. And sometimes that ghetto come out. It's all right. It's all right. All right. There was a creation of a new identity by saying color. Because now we had a mixture of people who once were dark in you. But now we can see, hmm, they look a little bit like their captors. All right. mm -hmm. And some of their captors felt bad that part of me is over there in the fields. Mm -hmm. So I need to find me some kind of way to make a distinction. So you become a good one when you act a certain way. Or when you present yourself in a certain manner, right? Mm -hmm. And guess what? We got caught up in that too. Yes, we did go to the mm -hmm. But guess what it did? It ensured limited opportunities for self-determination. Look at your baby and say, self-determination. Because somebody's still calling you something. Somebody's still identifying who you are and what you look like and how you're supposed to behave. Is that right? You ain't controlling yourself. Somebody else controls you. But it also externally excluded you from the identification with the American Declaration of Independence. Why is it? Well, yes, second time you said that, Doctor. What they got to do with anything? Well, just stick with me. Black America. Oh, cycle. 1900 to 1975. Some of y'all have been around long enough to know what it was like. Say it loud! That's your boy, ain't it, Claire? <laughs> huh? I'm black and I'm black! Yeah, I've got to show you how black I am. I can't just tell you. I've got to show you in my clothes. Y'all saw these clothes, didn't you? Y'all see the Black Panther Party? And what are young guys still trying to do? Trying to prove who they are. But now through violence. The Black Panther Party started because they wanted to get a stoplight. That's right. That's right. On the street to keep their babies from getting ran over. Right? And when the government didn't respond, they said, we're going to be the police. Right. They grab their shotgun and they stand on folk, stood on four corners. Anybody caught speed, they drew down on. Them. Yes, Guess what they did a week later? They put a four-way stoplight over there in that car. Y'all not gonna talk with me. But these young cats don't have a clue as to what uh, Elvis Cleaver and Bobby Seale were trying to do. You understand what I'm saying? Cause why not? Because somebody ain't talking. That's right. Lack of knowledge. But they still got to do it. Now they can do that. But they can't explain to you how they come about wanting to be somebody. Huh? Let me not stay there. Let me. I, I wish I could, but I got to. I got to move on. Watch it. Black to be bold, radically self-determined. In about 1900, is said to be the beginning of the Harlem Renaissance. This is where black people said, now that we're free from slavery, we're going to start determining ourselves. We're going to identify ourselves. And guess what? We're not Negro and we're not colored, but we're strong people. And we've got something to offer the world. Duke Ellington and people like that, and Fetch Domino, are going all over the world in Europe and France and England. They recognize them, but they still ain't getting recognized in America mm -hmm. as anything other than a Negro or a colored. So Claude McKay, a Jamaican, said, you know what? We're going to be the new Negro. We black folk. That's where the term, the sociological term, black came from. Now, it is a self-determined term, isn't it? It has religious transformation to it. Did y'all know that there was a black Bible in the 60s? You know that. In New York right now, there is a black Bible that you can go and look at, Malcolm X Library. But people then said, we're going to even control our theology. Huh? We're not settling for the concept of Eurocentric theology. Because we're what? Black and strong and self-determined. All right? Political organizations came. You had Marcus Garvey who started the movement. You had Elijah Muhammad who started the movement. You had people like... Uh, 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 Noble Drew Ali started the Moorish Science Temples of America. 
You had people who started the uh, uh, Malcolm X when he left the Nation of Islam. He started the Afro uh, movement itself, the Civil Rights Movement, right? Many different attempts were there to try to identify